How to deal with this type of exponential equation? We will see in this video tutorial. If 5 raised to power x raised to power 2 is equal to 25 times 25 raised to power x, we have to find the value of x in this question. So let's get started and see the solution. 5 raised to power x raised to power 2 and this 25 is as same as 5 times 5 and 5 times 5 is 5 square so 25 can be written as 5 square times this 25 as 5 square and here whole power x 5 raised to power 2 and here we are going to multiply these two powers using power of a power rule that says if a raised to power m raised to power n this is equal to a raised to power m times n so after multiplying these two parts, 5 raised to power 2 times x is 2x. If two bases are multiplying with the different powers, we use product rule of power. According to that rule, if a raised to power m times a raised to power n, this is equal to a raised to power m plus n. So we will add these two parts, 5 raised to power 2 plus 2x. If bases are same, we can equate the powers because we know that if a raised to power b is equal to a raised to power c, then b is equal to c. So uh, using that rule, we can say that x square is equal to 2 plus 2x. If we move 2 plus 2x to the left hand side, it will become negative. And after rearranging, it's equal to x square minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now it becomes a quadratic equation. And the next step is to find the root of x. What we are going to do, we are going to add and subtract 1 in this equation to balance the equation plus 1 minus 1. We know an algebra identity a square minus 2ab plus b square and if we see here a is x minus 2 ax b is 1 here plus 1 square and this identity a minus b whole square so this is equal to x minus 1 whole square We can say that this part x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 whole square and minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 3 is equal to 0. We can say that 3 is as same as root of 3 whole square. This 3 is equal to root 3 whole square. Now it becomes another algebra identity a square minus b square where a is x minus 1 and b is root 3. a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b. So from this x minus 1 plus root 3 times x minus 1 minus root 3 is equal to 0. It means that either x minus 1 plus root 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 minus root 3 is equal to 0. From these two, we will find the value of x. The first one is x minus 1 plus root 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 minus root 3 is equal to 0. From the first case, x and if we take minus 1 to the right hand side, it will become positive and root 3 will become negative. So, 1 minus root 3 and from there, x is equal to 1 plus root 3. So, we got the two values of x, x1 and x2. I hope it is clear. If you have any query, write in the comment box. 
Don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.